Hey, good evening, folks. Another video. I'm gonna. Uh, I just made a fast video. I put it on Twitter, so I'm gonna be repeating a couple things here. Uh, one guy made a comment once about I always light up a cigarette when I do these. Well, it's kind of like a trademark thing, a habit. I don't know. I need to work on quitting smoking, and I'm gonna be doing that soon. But right now, I'm between jobs. There's a big project starting soon, so I'll be fixing to go back to work here real quick. Once I'm working 10 hours a day, then I'm going to work on quitting smoking. But until then, shut your mouth. I'm going to keep smoking. <laughs> I'm just joking with y'all. Okay, a couple topics. What I outlined in my little fast two-minute Twitter video, I can expand on it with an extended YouTube video and not have two minutes to freaking rifle everything off real quick. First of all, the, the Demiflops had a seven-hour debate Seven hours long. Who the hell wants to watch that shit for seven hours? Are you kidding me? I'd rather watch paint dry. I'd rather watch grass grow. I'd rather watch flies fuck. Then listen to a bunch of Democrat lunatics talk about climate change. And that's the only thing they talked about. And they talked about we have to get rid of fossil fuels. We have to be fossil fuel free and... All this other stuff. What about planes? What about traveling abroad? You're going to have solar powered airplanes? Solar powered cars? It's not going to happen. I mean, electrical generation stations. It's gas. Now it's going to be, well, where's the electricity going to be generated from? The only way to really generate it is from generators that run off of gasoline. It's not hard to figure out that that's an act of lunacy. That's why these Democrats can never, ever be allowed to ever have power again. They're all out of their minds, completely insane, and they've got to be stopped in everything they do. There's, everything they're proposing is just crazy. Everything's a big, huge government program and all these giveaways. Everything's going to be for free. Free health care. Free freaking, we're going to eliminate medical debt. Bernie Sanders even talked about depopulation. And to improve and combat climate change, we need to work on population control, which basically means killing people. Think about that. Let that one sink in for a minute there. He's nothing but a domestic terrorist, as far as I'm concerned at this point. That crackpot needs to be just locked up in an insane asylum with a straitjacket and a padded cell, for Christ's sake. Bernie frickin' Sanders. <laughs> oh, boy. Kamala Harris. Oh, we're going to have fossil fuel cars. Or fossil free. Fossil fuel free cars. Like I said, it's impossible. You, you, it won't work. I mean, an electric car? How long does the battery last? What happens if you run out of electricity on the side of the road? You get to pull off to the side of the road and wait 18 hours filling up on sunshine? Get out of here. It's completely insane. Crazy. What else do we get? Uh, they want to eliminate all coal, all oil. Everything our, basically our entire economy runs on. <laughs> These Democrats will destroy this country if they're ever allowed to take power again. Yeah, they got the House, but we have the Senate, we have the White House. It has to stay that way. We need to take back the House, in fact. But right now, they, they can have the House proposing all these asinine bills that don't fucking mean anything. You know, they're, they're actually campaigning and legislating on behalf of illegal aliens than they are American citizens. Think about that for a minute. Oh, what else did I wanted to touch on? Oh, they, they keep talking about Beto and Eric Swallowswell and all these other stupid idiots. Keep talking about a gun buyback, gun buyback, mandatory gun buyback. We're going to buy back every assault weapon. First of all, what's an assault weapon? You know? I could take this wooden back scratcher and I could jam it in somebody's friggin' eye. I just assaulted that person. Does it make this an assault back scratcher? And we have to eliminate all assault back scratchers. You see how stupid of a term that is? 
Uh, you mean the phrase gun violence? Well, a gun is an inanimate object. Just like that back scratcher, or just like this pack of cigarettes, or just like this remote control, it's an inanimate object. It's not capable for it to be violent. For example, that 357 Magnum will sit there until somebody picks it up. It can be fully loaded, which it is, for 80 years and sit there. And in 80 years will not hurt anybody. It's not capable for a gun to be violent. Just a little exercise in common sense there. And again, a gun buyback, my ass. It's a sweet gun, actually. Ah. It looks like a 38 is 357. Nice little piece. But I didn't buy that off of the government in the first place. So, what do you mean you're going to buy it back? I didn't buy it off you to, to begin with. It's a shut up of these assholes calling for gun buybacks. My, kiss my ass. It's not going to happen. And if you keep pushing and pissing off enough people, well, I would not want a civil war to be started. That's the last thing I would want in this country. But <laughs> keep outraging and pushing and pushing. You'll find out you're, you're going to get more than you bargained for. You think you got law enforcement and military on your side? No, you don't. Most military and law enforcement would be on the side of the people and the citizenry. That's where they would be. Because they have families too. Everyone in the military and law enforcement and homeland security and so on and so forth. They have families that live in their, their communities too. And they, I believe the vast majority would be like, what the, this is bullshit, I'm not going along with this. They'd rip off their badge and throw it on the ground and say, nope, we're going to fight with the citizenry. So, keep pushing, demo flops. You'll be faced with way more than you bargained for. You know, 1776 all over again. Try it. All right, that's about it. all I want to get on. And the subjects I want to touch upon. Oh, and another thing is, oh, what good are your guns going to do against a superior military and superior... Well, I just outlined that the most of the military would not go against the citizenry. They'd refuse and refuse orders. They took an oath to the Constitution, not the government. And if, you know, superior weaponry and superior military might... Well, that's all it takes, huh? Well, then why are we still in Afghanistan after 19 years? A bunch of robed lunatics with some AK-47s and maybe some grenades or some RPGs. And we're still there. Still haven't taken out Al-Qaeda. The Taliban is still there. And just because of guerrilla warfare and some armed guys, they're still there. So just because you have a superior military doesn't necessarily mean it's going to guarantee victory. That's the way guerrilla warfare works. You kind of work within a population and you kind of hit the enemy at vulnerable points and then disappear back into the, the population and citizenry. All right, you're not really a, an army, you're not really a military or anything like that. Just a bunch of guys with some rifles. All right, I guess that's about it. I'm going on 10 minutes here. That's all I wanted to post. A couple points on that. And I'm, I'm going to make another classic video. I, I got some really good ideas. And I'm going to post it this, uh, this coming weekend. About how Democrats have declared war on America. It's kind of like part two of this video. But this one was about their seven hour... Again, who would want to freaking watch a climate change debate with a bunch of these demo flops? Are you kidding me? I'd rather look at and stare at a blank TV screen for seven hours than listen to any of their shit. Listen to all their asinine fucking statements about a bunch of crap. Anyway, by the way, real quick on climate change. Notice how they changed the name of it. It used to be called global warming. Now it's all climate change. Oh... That's, you know what's crap. They've been saying this shit for years. But thousands of years ago, we had the Ice Age, where 90% of the planet was covered in ice. Thousands of years ago. Where did all the ice go? 
that we, we weren't we didn't have plants we didn't we weren't driving cars and flying planes and burning fossil fuels all these plants and manufacturing plants and so on and so forth so where did all the ice go too many crow magnon cavemen had too many campfires and melted it all i suppose no it just disappeared because the climate changes naturally on its own you cannot stop climate change any more than you can stop freaking gravity you know what goes up will come down how do you stop gravity we have to stop gravity we're using too much gravity we have a gravity crisis going on we have a shortage of gravity that's about how asinine that sounds to me yeah 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 ridiculous nonsense irrespective of what we do the climate's going to change on its own it's just a scam to put a carbon tax on you they can only steal so much with federal income taxes so they have to think of and create more ways to steal more of our money. The carbon tax. My ass. I got your carbon tax. When I fart right in your face, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> and AOC and all you other dumbasses. Okay, that's it. I'm way past 10 minutes. I got a 10 minute rule. I gotta keep, keep you kind of short. All right. God bless y'all. And I love y'all. Until the next one. Have a good night. Bye.